So Piers Morgan had uh, this guy, Mohammed Hijab, on his show, and he was discussing Israel and Palestine and the Israel and Hamas war currently going on, the bombing campaign Israel's carrying out in Gaza. And um, I want to show you a part of this which was so infuriating to me. Now, look, to be fair, there absolutely were parts of this exchange where I disagree with this Mohammed Hijab guy. By the way, I, just to be clear, I don't know anything about him, right? Maybe there are a million things I disagree with him on massively. I'm going to show you the part where I think Piers uh, is the bigger culprit and gets under my skin the most. But there were parts of this interview where I didn't like uh, Mohammed Hijab's approach, right? I think it's a little bit... He protested a little too much, right? Like, the um, they were getting bogged down in the weeds of exactly what kind of atrocities... Hamas carried out against uh, Israeli civilians. And that's just, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't be like, well, this particular instance was AI generated or fake. Because it's like, we know, as a matter of fact, Hamas was going after innocent civilians left and right and taking hostages and gunning down people at a music festival and going into people's homes and butchering whole families. Like, we know that was going on. So I just feel like you don't need to get bogged down in the weeds on that to have the broader conversation. Because if you protest... Uh, the specifics of those claims, it's like, what purpose does that serve? Unless you're trying to say Hamas doesn't do anything wrong, uh, you know, and uh, anything any Palestinian does is justified. So there were parts of this where I was like, mm, with how Mohammed Hijab did. But at the same time, what I saw throughout this interview was multiple instances of this guy saying to Piers Morgan, I 100% condemn the killing of innocent civilians carried out by Hamas or anybody else for that matter. And it's because of my religion that I condemn that. It is unacceptable. So he made that point a number of times, which is like, good. That's the starting point to jump off this conversation, right? Very simple. But then when this guy flips it back on Piers Morgan, and he's like, well, I condemn Hamas committing atrocities. Do you condemn the IDF committing atrocities? Piers is incapable of just saying yes. All right, so let's dive into it. Here we go. Um, well, we'll say I didn't ask a question. Hold on, ask a question. Do you condemn the killing of those children by the IDF? I'll tell you what I condemn. I yes can, or no? I'm going to answer your question honestly and truthfully. Sure. And because I've tweeted about this, right? Oh, okay. I think that what happened on October the 7th was one of the worst atrocities I have ever had to read about or watch on. It the happens videos. every day. So he's asked if he condemns the IDF atrocities, killing Palestinian civilians, and he goes right to, well, that Hamas terror attack was one of the worst atrocities I've ever seen. That wasn't the question. We've already established that the Hamas terror attack was one of the worst terror attacks we've ever seen. Every, I agree to that. The overwhelming majority of people with a brain and a heart agree to that. Why won't you answer the question directly? All right, let's continue. What happened on October the 7th was one of the worst atrocities I have ever had to read about or watch on it the It happens videos. every day in Palestine. No, no. So why do you care it, about that? It actually so doesn't. It doesn't. It, it does actually, No, no, yes. no. The Israeli forces... I've got the stats for that. Israeli forces do not go... Cast-led, protective minute, edge. Mohammed, go and check it out. Mohammed, Israeli forces... Cast-led, protective edge. Israeli forces don't go into Gaza on yeah. one day and grab grandmothers and kill babies in Wait, their it's, beds it's, okay, okay. and no, no, hold on. Uh, rape and abuse women. So, uh, rape, is there any evidence for that? There, it's been re multiple reports no, in no, multiple no, no, mainstream media home. publications. Hmm. Well, you're going to sit here and deny everything. No, right? no, I'm not denying anything. So remember what the original question was and how far off, uh, you know, off the track we are here. Do you condemn Hamas killing innocent civilians or do you condemn the IDF killing innocent civilians? And he's like, let's talk about the terror attack from Hamas. Wait, that wasn't the question. In the same way, if the roles were reversed... I'd be saying the same thing in the other direction, right? So if the question is, do you condemn Hamas killing innocent civilians? The correct answer is yes. If somebody went, well, what the, immediately went to, well, what the IDF is doing in response is unacceptable. I'd be like, whoa, 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 that wasn't the question. Answer the question. For, he's not answering the question. Oh my God, I hate this. Look, I've said this before, vis-a-vis -vis political candidates and debates, but I'm also going to say it for commentators. Literally anybody who is direct wins. It's that simple. Ask a question, answer the question directly. Don't do your little tap dance. Don't do your little sophistry going around it. Directly answer the question. If you do that, you will come across as honest. You will come across as correct. If you're trying to dodge, it looks like you're trying to hide something, right? And look, we'll get to it, but I think his take is it's not as bad when the IDF does it because in his mind, it's like, well, they don't mean to kill the civilians, which again, I think is totally untrue based on the numbers, based on the percentage of innocent civilians killed, and based on the fact they're doing literal collective punishments against all of Gaza right now. All right, continue. No, I accept that some civilians have been killed. I do mm. accept this. And I, and I already said- You I don't believe any of the reports that women were raped? No, I didn't say that. 
I said that is still to but be. Do you think they were raped? No, I don't know. It's like the uh, Russell Brand thing. You said you don't know any evidence. So why do you apply a uh, uh, two I'm standards? Not. Okay, so it's been reported. When it's Israel, we know they're raped. When no, it's Russell Brand, you don't know because you're No, it's been reported by legitimate news. When it's Israel, you know they're raped. But when it's Russell Brand, you don't know. When it's Russell Brand, you don't know. It's a comparison between Russell Brand and what's happening. It's the same thing. It's a rape allegation. Why are you stuttering? I'm not stuttering. You are stuttering. You don't you, have you're contesting say. every single thing that I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that's and I'm saying to you, argument. at the end, 1,300 people yeah. were brutally 2, murdered. 2,000 people have been killed on the other side. Abused. 2,000 people have been, been killed. killed on the I other side. I said that to the ambassador. Okay, but do you condemn that, yes or no? I don't think so. Any... You refuse to condemn. No, you do refuse. Why to are you putting words in my mouth? Because you're not you're not condemning it, are you? What do you want me to condemn? Condem Israel's okay, excellent. What do I want you to condemn? Yes, I want you to condemn the fact that the IDF, knowing that it's more probable than not, pressing buttons from the sky, killing innocent civilians, 1,000 of them children. That that is a war crime and that is not acceptable morally. Just like I you believe, condemn the other one. Is it condemnable? Or I not? believe, given the scale of what Hamas did on October the 7th, ahead, Israel is entitled to, to kill defend. children. No, it's not what I said. Go ahead. They're entitled to defend themselves with How? force. So again, and go watch the whole interview, don't take my word for it. There are times when this guy's asked to condemn Hamas killing civilians and he says, I do condemn it. And then when he flips it on uh, peers and he says, Do you condemn the IDF killing innocent civilians? He gives that bullshit, weaselly answer. Israel is, is entitled to defend themselves with force. And he's going to also advocate well and also try to limit civilian casualties. But they're not doing that. They're not doing that. If, as it seems to sure. me, you believe too, Go on. Hamas are not a force for good. Do you believe that? Well, I think that uh, anybody who kills children and those elements of Hamas mm. who are killing children... Right, so we can agree. So, so we agree. So, so, so my ahead, point is... Point. Again, look at how quickly he was like, no, that that's... Yes. I agree. Condemn Hamas for killing uh, civilians. Yes. He says it quickly. Peers will not say the opposite about the IDF. Oh, my God. Israel's purpose is to rid the world of Hamas after the atrocity of October the 7th. Sure. How do they do that, given that Hamas embeds itself in civilian areas in the way that it does? Everyone knows that in Gaza. Okay. How do they do that Excellent. in the surgically clean way that you seem to think yeah. they should be doing? Okay. First of all, it's not possible. Second of all, you should go after the people who actually committed the crimes, those specific people. And in order to do that, it's a lot of intelligence work and it's special forces. That's what it is. That's it. Now, you might not like that answer. You might say, oh, that's going to take a long time and that's really difficult. True and true. Who cares? Because what's happening now is collective punishment against all Gazans, all Palestinians. Literally, they call them human animals. They bomb apartment buildings and mosques and markets and hospitals and all sorts of stuff. And he is de facto defending that. Do not kill civilians. Beautiful. Can I, can I, I don't ask... like any civilian death. Do you mind if I answer I question? don't endorse any civilian death. Well, no, no, do no. I you don't condemn it, though. Hang on. Yeah. No, and here's why. Because I support Israel's right to defend okay. itself. Beautiful. Now, there. I mean, he, look. He's admitting it. Piers is just admitting it. He's just admitting it. Yeah, I don't want civilian deaths, but I support Israel's right to defend itself. So in other words, when Israel bombs and kills innocent civilians, since they meant well, in my opinion, it's not as bad. When Hamas purposely targets civilians, it's evil. See, peers wouldn't agree that Israel is purposefully targeting civilians. I think you are incredibly naive, bordering on stupid, to think they're not purposefully targeting civilians when they literally announced a medieval-style siege where they took away everybody's water, fu fu food, fuel, electricity, etc. People are drinking seawater to survive. They're bombing apartment buildings left and right and mosques and hospitals and open-air markets, etc. You have to be a fool to think, nope, this is targeted, and they don't want civilian deaths. It, how naive are you, man? But the question then becomes, what is proportionate? Okay. What is a proportionate response? Okay. I don't have the answer. Excellent. Because I don't know what a proportionate response to 1,300 murders is. When 260 young people at a music festival, uh -huh. most of them peace-loving people uh -huh. enjoying themselves at a festival, the when game. they get slaughtered by people in with killed? machine guns, I don't know what the proportionate response is. Response. Intelligence work and special forces. Do the hard work that's necessary. You don't go indiscriminately bombing civilians on the other side because the whole point is Hamas killing civilians is wrong, so the IDF killing civilians is wrong too. Oh my God. You spoke for about two minutes. You didn't do that with the ambassador, by the way. I'm just showing you, you're saying fair, but, but you're not being fair. I've okay, so, so let me just, let me paint a I will be fair. I'm, I'm, sure, sure. I'm genuinely interested in Fine. what you have to say. Right, excellent. You're, you're from Irish descent. We know that there was an IRA yes. in Belfast and so on. Okay, so let me ask you a question now. If there was an IRA in Belfast mm. and they were occupying council properties and so on, and then we have a plane of RAF going to destroy that council property, mm. destroy all of Belfast, flatten it, mm. as one uh, representative said, got live. Mm. Uh, the IDF said that, um, uh, one of the uh, IDF members said that we, we will flatten it completely. That's mm. what we want to do. Mm. We don't care about accuracy, he said. Mm. We care about damage. That's mm. what he said. Mm. You didn't question her about that. But anyway, if the RAF were to then go into Belfast and flatten as the IDF and these guys want to do, if they want to flatten Belfast, 
with all the white people, mm -hmm. I'm going to use the term white, mm -hmm. all the white people, council estates living in there, with the excuse that we're doing it because it's proportionate, uh, proportionate uh, defense mm -hmm. to uh, the terrorists. What would you say about that? Uh, here's what I would say to you. Is that acceptable or unacceptable? Here's what I would say to you. Yeah. The IRA uh, committed a series of atrocities mm -hmm. over numerous decades. Mm -hmm. They targeted, in their eyes, military and political targets. They usually gave some form of warning, not always. OK. They, they were terrorists. No, no, they were terrorists. Sure. They never, ever went out one day and committed the barbaric slaughter of 30... Irrelevant. No, no. If they did, if they I'm did. sorry, it's if not they did. If they did. No, no, Muhammad. If they did. Here's why it's not irrelevant. Okay. They, ne they never did. See, here's what he's trying to do. He just set up a hypothetical with a similar set of facts and said, in that scenario, would you support leveling the civilian populations, right? And Pierre's response is, but hold on, they never massacred civilians in the way Hamas did. So in other words, he's not engaging with the hypothetical. And then he says, well, what if they also did that? So you had the wanton murder of innocent civilians. Would it then be justified to go into Belfast and level all of Belfast? Kill women, children, babies, moms, aunts, uncles, disabled people, etc. Would it be okay to go do that? And watch, he is refusing to engage honestly. If you can't answer in the hypothetical, then you just are afraid of what you know the right answer is, right? Okay, wait wait for it. Pierce is going to literally totally punt in just a second. But if they did, would, you, did. would you accept that? Uh, the way, they have to fly by the way, there were outrages committed by, my law, question is, by if, the lawyer, lawless parliamentary me, too. My question is, my if point, they did, they never would came, you think it's acceptable? They never or? came close to committing an outrage if on that they, scale. If right? they did, is it acceptable They never to went in and kidnapped grandmothers or killed babies in cribs. If they did, is it acceptable or not? They believe they were fighting for better or worse, and I believe for worse, sure, and that's sure. why I'm glad peace was found. But they believe they were fighting political and military targets. I'm trying to bring it closer to home to you. You're trying to compare apples and oranges. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's you that's doing that. The, the only comparison that I would say that we saw from October the 7th and what Hamas did is with ISIS. Excuse me. That's the uh, only comparison do, do you mind if I, that bears Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. A Palestinian and ISIS were taken out, by the way, with you're, planes. You're with planes. No, no. Here's my, you didn't do this with the ambassador. I'm going to finish. You did this with Ben Shapiro, which you gave the show to him. No, no. Hang on. I'm giving you, you plenty of time. No, you're not. Giving you plenty. You asked about the analogy of a plane flying over yeah, and targeting. Yeah, but you didn't answer my question. But that did happen, Mohammed, with ISIS. Would you accept to Belfast of, to be flattened? No, wait a minute. Or not? Yes no, wait or no? a minute. It never happened. So the like for like isn't. It's not. It's a hypothesis. It's not. It's not. I don't do hypotheticals. There it is. And I'm just not going to engage honestly. He set up a hypothetical for you to bring it closer to home. Peers refuse to engage with it honestly. You know what the correct answer is, Peers? This isn't hard. Of course it would be unacceptable. You don't respond to a grotesque atrocity, the purposeful massacre of civilians, with the purposeful massacre of civilians on the other side. That's not what you do. But he can't say it. He can't say it. So look, guys, go watch the rest of it. Like I said, there are times where I don't agree with this Mohammed Hijab guy and he gets lost in the weeds on certain things. But... Look, there is no doubt that Piers failed miserably in this because he could not bring himself to state the obvious. That everybody, well, any reasonable person agrees Hamas massacring civilians is evil and wrong and terrible. But he refuses to acknowledge Israel is doing that and doing it at a larger scale now. And it is on purpose. We know it's on purpose. Take them at their own word when they call Palestinians human animals, when they say, actually, there are no civilians there because they voted for Hamas in 2006. They could have done a coup. They didn't do a coup. So they're all guilty. Medieval siege, bombing civilian infrastructure all over the place. And he cannot bring himself to say, yeah, I unequivocally just condemn that in the same way that this guy does say about Hamas atrocities. It's, it's so pathetic. And by the way, this dude is right. When Pierce had on Ben Shapiro... He let him lay out his whole narrative. Let him lay out his whole narrative. When he has this guy on, it's let's nitpick and argue over every little point. And I won't, I won't even engage with the most reasonable hypothetical of all time to test my true position. He refuses to engage in it because if he did engage in it, he knows what the right answer is. And he doesn't want to give that answer because he wants to defend Israel, even though they're currently in the midst of committing war crime after war crime and atrocity after atrocity. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.